With Grant Hill and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. And I think coming back home is exactly what this team go. needed. They got roughed up on the road. It was a big wake-up call. I'm curious to see how they respond. Here's George. Ooh, solid defense from Mitchell. And Mobley has got the ball here for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And what you love about the Cavs, on most nights, they take really good shots, Greg. Uh, they do, B.A. I mean, I love the way they work the ball into the painted area. And even their guards are constantly penetrating, getting into the paint, creating for themselves and their teammates. Out of bounds. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. Five on the clock. Here's Harden. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Just an all-star level talent. I mean, stopping Harden from scoring is almost an impossible task at times. Well, Grant, we've got a pretty interesting matchup here. You got one team offensive-minded. The other, very strong defensively. You know, I'll be intrigued to see how this plays out. I mean, it could be kind of like a chess match. Each team trying to make it their kind of game. Now here's Mitchell. A reliable go-to guy for them. He's averaging around 26 and a half a game. Out to the wing. Leonard, right side. And Leonard with the strong finish. Well, we know Leonard's an elite two-way machine, but there he shows us the artistry. And a deep three from Garland. Pass to Struess. Now Mitchell. Double team on Mitchell. Allen, left side. Will it go? Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. A very sluggish start on offense. Four attempts with nothing to show for. Inside. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Ooh, old school right there. No easy buckets. The three from Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell. Counted from distance. And finally, a made shot. They look a little relieved after that one. And Grant, you watch Darius Garland. It often looks like he's a step ahead out there. Well, he's got a great natural feel for the game, B.A. I mean, on the ball, he makes quick reads, and he'll create for himself and others. Off the ball, he always seems to be in the right spot and ready to fire. Now here's Leonard. He's got five. Here's Harden with the drive. The shot, no good. And here comes Cleveland. Four-point game. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing their last matchup with Orlando. Well, they brought the energy. They played smart as well. But the other team did too. Unfortunately, someone has to lose. Nothing to hang their heads over. When you have two evenly matched teams on a given night, it's anyone's ball game. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Pass to Struess. The three from Mitchell. Again, the miss by Mitchell. The green light they gave him early should probably turn red. He needs to get others involved. And he gets it back. The three, George. Can't hit it. He's 0 for 2 now. From downtown, Mitchell can't get that one to fall. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. This nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Nails it from three. You can tell someone's feeling confident. Mitchell seems to extend his range every year. Now here's George. And you look at the numbers, currently around 22 and a half points a game. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. Drains the triple. Giving it up for a better look. Mitchell with some smart ball movement. Here's Leonard. 
That bucket makes him three for five. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Right side, Mitchell. Outside, Garland. Pass to Struess. There's the three. He drops it from range. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. To the middle. And the basket by Leonard. Leonard's got nine. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. And the shot is good by Garland. Rise and fire. I just love how assertive Garland is on offense. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. First personal foul. Third team foul. At the line. And he drops the first. So both teams making some changes here. Harden hits them both. Such a versatile guard. James Harden is a triple-double threat every single night. Outside Mitchell. There's the drive. Oh, it's stolen by Tucker. And they're pushing it up. Here's Plumley. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's Kawhi Leonard making highlights for the Clippers. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine. Good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers guys. Well, there's no reason to take risky shots when you can collect points at the rim. Especially at the start, you want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm. Morris for three. Buries it from three. That's what Morris is out there to do. He's a floor spacer who can take some of the scoring pressure off the stars. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Levert. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Brian Evan Mobley still is just scratching the surface, but already he is making his mark in the most important way. Coach Bickerstaff said he's a winner. Fourth quarter's big moments. He just finds a way to help finish ball games and to make the play. Evan just makes the right play to help us win, he said. Brian? Well, no doubt. He's a star on the rise, Alec. Thanks for that. Back to Levert. Launches it. Rebounded by Russell Westbrook. Here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. You know, last game, they matched up with the Mavs. A tough loss there. Hey, they had their chances, but they struggled from the line. It's so hard to win that way on someone else's floor. And you could see them losing confidence, and it turned into a domino effect. Back to Porter. Levert outside. Morris sets a screen from deep. Paul George pulls down the board. It's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that. And the basket by Westbrook. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Pass to Okoro. Here's Levert. The egg outside. Outside Porter. Six on the shot clock. The three from Okoro. Nails it from beyond the arc. Three-pointer. Okoro's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Ah, the golden years for the L.A. Clippers, Smitty. Those Lob City teams. Ooh, I miss those days, B.A. Chris Paul tossing up alley-oops to DeAndre Jordan and Blake Griffin. Those three pretty much won 50-plus games every season and man were they fun to watch outside for Levert outside Porter the three is up the Clippers grab the miss and this matchup with the Cavaliers it's their first meeting of the season and last year's games were interesting to watch, considering that each team came out with a win against the other. This is going to be a fun first game between these two squads. Buckle up. 
He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. The shot by Levert, no good. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. 156 left in the second. Can't cash it in from close range. Pass to Porter. Back to Levert. From outside the arc. Gets the three ball to go. And the Cavaliers lead by one. That's a big make for Levert. Should help his confidence. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. Pass to Harden. Back to Zubac. And it's out of bounds to the Clippers as the Clippers retain possession. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Leonard beyond the line. Way to rise to the occasion and snatch back the momentum. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Allen a screen. And he lobs it up. And it's Allen who slams it home. No stopping Allen there. His length makes the play almost too easy. Zubats, screen. Here's Harden. That one goes. Count it. Harden's got six. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Pass to Mitchell. Let's the three fly. Yes, and a nice assist from Garland. And normally Mitchell wants his shot head on, but you give him the corner and he will adapt. Down low. Westbrook with the miss. The Cavaliers leading. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's Mitchell. Outside Struess. Three-pointer. Sinks it from distance. Struess has got his second bucket on the night. And you pay so much attention to Garland, and that allows teammates to get involved. Here's Westbrook. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Outside Mitchell. And it's a defensive three-second violation. Cavaliers ball. At the line for the Cavaliers. Donovan Mitchell. And he shows the focus there. Nails the team. I love how focused Donovan Mitchell is, especially on the offensive end. Here's Garland. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Cavaliers. Cavaliers ahead. Leading by three. And we'll be back right after this. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. And Grant is someone whose career spanned eras. You feel playing defense is more difficult than it was two decades ago? Oh, B.A., it's much more difficult. In part, because the contact allowed is much more strict. Shooters can create contact and be rewarded with free throws. And the skill level on offense has truly raised. It makes it tough for the defender to really get down and play that tough nose defense. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Brian, the Clippers next season will inaugurate their futuristic new home court in Englewood, designed to give fans every comfort, and the Clippers a distinct advantage as well. Along the baseline, 5,000 fans will fill 51 uninterrupted rooms. The section, nicknamed The Wall, is acoustically designed to be loud. So, Brian, better get ready. <laughs> Turn it up. Thanks, Alec. Garland for three. It's another three for Cleveland. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. 
Well, the last few years, defense has been the calling card for the Cavaliers. Yeah, a lot of that has to do with their big men. Not only do they have the length and size, they've got tremendous agility and are able to switch on to the perimeter as well. Leonard shots good. There's the response. Kawhi rarely changes expression. But you know what he's thinking. I got your back. From deep, Struess. It's rebounded by Zubats. And here's Harden. He'll bring it up for the L.A. Clippers. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. He misses the free throw. Hit the line for L.A. James Harden. And the second free throw is good. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. Garland for three. Drills it from deep. Garland's got six here in the quarter. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Leonard for three. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. A nice start to the third. Three out of four and looking good doing it. And Garland gets double. Pass to Mobley. Takes the three. And the Cavaliers, another three. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Leonard on the wing. 18 points for him. Four on the clock. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. Zubat's shot is off. To the inside. Back to Struess. Pass to Allen. Hey, expanding his range. It's rebounded by Zubats. The Clippers trail. All right, Grant, talking about Avica Zubats, what do you like most about his game? Well, just his defensive presence. I mean, he's willing to challenge shots at the rim, refusing to give anything easy. To the right side. Mobley on a screen. Garland, a good look. Count that one. He's now five for eight. And playing very well here in the second half. I mean, their shooting percentage is now over 50% from the field. Pass to George. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Knocks down the long J. Nice recognition there by Paul George. Just getting the ball to the open man. On the wing, Mitchell. From deep, Mobley. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Mobley's got six. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. And the shot is good by Garland. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. Leonard outside. Launches a three. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Garland looking around. Takes a three. It's another three for Cleveland. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Looks smart when the shots are going down. Three-pointer, Harden. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. Here's Mobley. It's rebounded by Zubats. To the paint. Here's Tice. And finished off by Tice. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they've stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. And so it's Cleveland. A sizable lead of 14 at the break. They hold a real solid lead right now.
And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. And here are the Clippers now. They trail by 14. To the inside. They get the rebound. Plumley Off target at the rim. And the Cavs with possession. Mitchell drives in. Comes up empty down low. And it's Westbrook with the ball for the L.A. Clippers. Knocks it loose. Here's Powell. What a terrific move that is. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Outside Garland. Pass to Mitchell. Levert outside. The three. Rebounded by Russell Westbrook. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Now here's Tucker. To the middle. Over Garland. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Clever play by Russell Westbrook using his body control to fake out the defender and get fouled in the act. Both teams will make substitutions. Levert outside. Fires the three. Outside Struess. On the wing, Mitchell. Struess with it. He's picked up by Westbrook. Inside. Morris. To the left side wing. Niang, that's good. Niang's got himself on the board with a three there. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Here's Brown. Westbrook outside. Oh, from deep. And again, it's Clippers missing. And now the Cavaliers on the break. Mitchell's shot is good. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. George outside. Beyond the arc. Hits a three-pointer. I love how competitive Paul George is coming right back with his own three. Outside Struess. No good from outside. And here are the Clippers now. Pass to Brown. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Struess with it. Guarded now by George. And Mitchell puts up a deep three. From beyond the arc and then some. Donovan Mitchell looks to pull the trigger whenever he can. I just love his confidence. And George launches it from deep. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The three is up. Tungley pulls down the board. And here are the Clippers now. 17-point game. And again, it's the Clippers missing. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. Morris sets a screen. And he lobs it up to the rim. Stolen by Harden. No luck on that one. Struess with a defensive effort. Now the Cavaliers with it. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Cavaliers. And at first glance, it appeared to be an easy win for them. However, they had to weather some storms along the way, Grant. Yeah, in terms of competitiveness, it was a lot closer than the final score indicates. And when we look at their record, this game pushes them to 49 wins. Always good to start a season series off with a W. They show tonight they take this team seriously, and the next two matchups between these two should be fun. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Darius Garland. Got to respect the leadership he showed today. Made great reads and distributed the ball accordingly. Knocks down the triple. 
Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. It's Levert on the wing. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Three-pointer. That's an inspired ball club. They fought hard, and during the most important moments, they made big plays. Especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. Harden from outside. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. And so Cleveland takes this one by a big margin. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Steve Smith, Grant.